opportunity of news regarding the Dallas Mavericks. Um, so the Dallas Mavericks president of basketball operations, Donnie Nelson, has decided to leave the team after 24 seasons with the franchise. 24 long seasons, Nate. Um, I get to the history. I just want to say the reason why he left. So Donnie Nelson, he left after internal friction due to the increasing decision-making influence of Mavericks director of quantitative uh, research and development, Harold Labos Volgaris, according to ESPN sources. And Volgaris, a former uh, professional gambler, which is pretty interesting, Nate, he was hired by the Mavericks in 2018. He reported directly to owner Mark Cuban and communicated directly with the coach Rick Carlisle, despite Nelson's objections, sources said. And Nelson decided to leave the team on Sunday. And I have a quote from Mark Cuban himself. He said, and I quote, I just want to thank Donnie for his 24 years of service to this organization. Donnie has been instrumental to our success and helped bring a championship to Dallas. His hard work, creativity, and vision made him a pioneer. Donnie will always be a part of the Mavs family. I wish him all the best. And a little bit on Nelson with his history with the Mavericks. He was there for 24 seasons, serving as the assistant general manager and the assistant coach before being promoted to president of basketball operations. He remained Cuban's uh, top basketball executive for years. After uh, the departure of his father, Don, the Mavs head coach and general manager from 1997 to 2005. And before the NBA, Nate, he had strong ties uh, to Europe before joining the Mavs. And obviously those paid off because of um, Dirk Nowitzki, who was a teenager when Nelson started following him in Germany. And the Dallas Mavericks had the sixth pick in the 1998 uh, NBA draft, and they drafted Robert Trailer the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, which had the ninth choice and took the 19-year-old uh, Nowitzki for the Mavericks. Made that switch, and Nowitzki became a Dallas Maverick for life. And obviously, Nate, um, I'll start off first, but before I do, the source for this article is Tim McMahon, ESPN staff writer. So first of all, I wish the Dallas Mavericks the best of luck in finding a new president of basketball operations. And I wish Donnie Nelson the best of luck, too. It's unfortunate what had to happen in uh, Dallas, you know, that ha- that forced him to leave, but or that cho- made him make the decision to leave. But regardless, you know, I do wish him the best of luck. Yeah, and they, Donnie Nelson has been there from the beginning. You know, when you really look at it and when you look at uh, what he's done for the Dallas Mavericks, when you look at him drafting from drafting Nowitzki to winning the NBA championship or helping them win it to him drafting Luka Doncic, you know, and making that trade or or making the trade on draft day for Luka. So, again, he has been a very uh, crucial and important piece to the Dallas Mavericks, you know, and I think he'll always be great. And I think the Mavericks will always be grateful for his work. But now, you know, you got to look for that new president, Nate. And again, who knows who it might be, you know, and only time will tell. So we'll find out. But I think this is a big hit for the Dallas Mavericks because this man, Donnie Nelson, has been there for, the, for 24 seasons. And for 24 seasons, he has contributed to this team. And I mean, again, who knows what's going to happen, Nate, with the Dallas Mavericks and who knows what's going to happen uh, with Donnie Nelson. You know, maybe this is maybe this is it. Maybe he decides to retire. Maybe he continues with a different team. We don't know. But. Again, the Dallas Mavericks, it's going to be hard to find somebody who fills those shoes as president of basketball operations. But at the end of the day, they still got to find somebody to take that role. So overall, I do wish Donnie Nelson the absolute best of luck in his future endeavors. Same thing with the Dallas Mavericks. And I hope that, again, I hope that all is well. And I hope both sides benefit from this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, best of luck to Donnie Nelson in his future endeavors. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, it's a big hit for the Dallas Mavericks because he's drafted Hall of Famers like Dirk Nowitzki, like we mentioned. You know, he also helped draft a, a future NBA superstar, or actually now already an NBA superstar, Luka Doncic. You know, he's done a really good job with that, and he's brought up a lot of players for this franchise, a lot of great ones too, Mario. So this is definitely going to take a hit to the um, Dallas Mavericks. Um, We talked about certain coaches that are available for a job, but when it comes to when it comes to executives, honestly, I couldn't tell you who's available. Usually that's someone you grab in from the inside out, but I don't know what happens with that moving forward, Mario. So um, whatever they decide to do, maybe they promote someone, maybe maybe they even go, look, go looking outside of the box, you know, but whatever they decide to do, um, I wish them the best of luck in trying to figure that out. Uh, same thing with uh, Donnie Nelson. You know, I wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors, whatever he decides to do. Um, and we'll see what happens from moving forward, Mario. Right. 
And uh, just a little bit of just a little bit more information before you end this. Um, a source said that the Mavericks have hired Mike Ford, Sportsology, a term frequently used by teams hiring general managers to assist in the search a new head of basketball operation. Excuse me. So you know we'll see what happens with that. Again, I do wish them both the best of luck, and we'll see what happens in the future.